What's up, everybody? It's your boy Phil Shocker, the 96 Hedgehog, and welcome to our VBL draft analysis. I know it's another draft league. Sue me, okay? I like draft league. But nonetheless, we are here for another draft analysis as I am constantly looking for my phone and I always seem to misplace my phone, so that's gonna be great. But yeah, so. We're here for the VBL, ladies and gentlemen. Def definitely, if you haven't already, hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Phil Shocker crew today because you'll be rolling with the king of the crew. So, um, looking at our team, we had... Oh, dear God. Oh, dear love of God, we had the worst pick in the draft. And it just, it was just terrible. Oh, we had like 8th or ninth pick out of 16 coaches. I think it was 16 coaches, if I remember correctly. It, yes. So we got the middle once again. And I think I walked away with a relatively decent team. It's not perfect. I do not agree it's perfect. But I think it came out decently well. So, looking at my team, um, we only draft... A tier one, tier two, two tier threes, tier four, a tier five, and four hundred free points for four mons. So it's basically another league that uses ten mon format, which is relatively a good and bad. It doesn't really apply a lot of prepping, as in it's not as it's kind of easy to figure out exactly what six your opponent brings and exactly what your mons do and everything like that. So, but like I said, I had the ninth pick overall, and I was really wanting to get stuff that I partially have not tried. Mons I've been wanting to get back to, and I felt it would actually pair well with this team. So, with my first overall pick, I had to grab him. My boy, Chomps, a.k.a. Shark the Guard Chomp here. I, if you guys remember my RGBL Season 3 run with Guard Chomp, Guard Chomp was an absolute monster. Guard Chomp put in so much good work for me that season. He was one of my two kill leaders, I think think might have been the kill leader if not that was weavile but i personally love this pokemon this pokemon is amazing this thing is so good i think it's just a monster of a pokemon and i think it's just so 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 good and i generally think this pokemon can honestly be a menace any ginormous threat in the format fact that it's got sword stance plus skill shot and even that, it gives me a value as a stealth rocker as well. It also gives me a mod that can actually take advantage of rough skin rocky helmet sets if people don't have prep for that because I do have a relatively strong defense and HP set for a defensive set as well. World 2 speed is amazing because it forces every base 100 to run a choice scarf if they feel like the choice scarf is necessary for that match. So, definitely. And so, on the backhand, I, I wanted to pair something with Garchomp. That I felt like was really good. So what Chomp really hates to deal with is kind of just semi-bulky waters, fairies, and ice types. So I kind of went in that route and wanted to stop the... Uh, and also we're opposing dragons that are faster. So why not stop dragons in their tracks with something that is extremely slow and thick? I went with Hatterene. I believe I have not really... I haven't really used normal Hatterene. I might have used No More Hammering for a few weeks in a league, but not like the entirety of the season. But regular Hattering gives me a mom. First off, it gives me Trick Room, which is really, really good. Two, it gives me a Magic Bounce user, so people always have to be so hesitant on clicking Stealth Rocks, Toxic Spikes, or even Sticky Webs on my side of the field. And I think, honestly, Hattering can put in a lot of good work. I think paired with Garchomp is not the best, but it's, you really think about it, Hattering's main weakness is going to be Ghost, Steals, Arguably, occasional poison typing, depending on poison typing, being like poison dark types. And Garchomp really takes care of those steel and poisons that Hatterene does not like to face. Even though Hatterene does have the coverage to take on steel types, but I guarantee answer to steel types in Garchomp is also really good. Hatterene also gives me a special wall breaker, which is also really good as well. And I just definitely think Hatterene is going to be a great Pokemon. With my third pick, I wanted Mana Buzz, but Revan sniped it on me and he hated me. And I don't know why he hated me, but... He just did. So, I went with a backup, and the backup's not the best pick in the world, but it's also a fantastic pick. 
And this is a relatively early, I do understand, but I wanted to secure at least a relatively strong web setter. So I went with Araquanid, aka Hunter. He is back once again. I really did want to try Araquanid. I think Araquanid is a very, very good water type and bug type. It gives me another ground resist, which is something you'll see a little bit of theme on the team. That I kind of st stop ground spam on my team, which is very, very good because ground spam is one of the most common spam moves in Draft League. Which is very important to know, except if it's Thousand Arrows. If it's Thousand Arrows, I have no switch into that, except for this too. But it's also a relatively great Dracofish answer, as it does get the access to the old water absorb of water absorb ability. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, also ignore stuff. My cat's just making noises. But it gives me sticky webs, like I said. It gives me a relatively strong, specially defensive and physically defensive Pokemon as well. It does give me a one that can potentially trap. And just weaken things down. It also gives me a bit of a fire resist too, which is really, really good as well. And it mainly gives me that ice resist, not counting freeze dry, which is really, really great as well. And what's not to love about a fire resist? Also a steel resist and fairy resist that also loves to have appreciate sticky webs. Coming back from the Season 5 Championship team of the Iowa Jolteons. And I'm sorry if I flex that so much. It's just for reason. I don't, we don't really do that. But this mom really carried the team into that championship and helped us win. Fire DK, the Darman. And this thing I think has become my favorite fire type just for the fact that it's just been a mod I loved using. I think it's just a, a fantastic Pokemon. And there's nothing I need to explain. This thing is sheer force. It's got choice band, choice scarf sets. Pretty much the only thing that I have been a little creative and trying to run some things like assault vest, bulk up sets. There's life orb sets. And with the fact of sticky webs, if I know my opponent has not the best removal and his removal cannot come in comfortably against certain mons, I can potentially just ring this thing and it can just get a kill or something, and that's just relatively strong. So, looking at that theme, again, I wanted something to help stop with ice type weaknesses, and I wanted a steel type. And I've been wanting to get back to this mon ever since GATL season one. I want to say season one. And ladies and gentlemen, we are bringing back a thorny man. We are bringing back thorny my Theraform. Theraform, because for one, it gives me an access to things like Thunder Wave and Toxic, which is relatively strong. This just gives me a mod that gives me access to Stealth Rocks and Spikes, so I get a second Stealth Rocker and a Spikes user. This thing really supports most of any team, and also under Trick Room can be a massive threat. So this thing is very, very lethal. <sighs> Excuse me. It's very, very lethal. I definitely do love Ferroform. Ferroform can learn things like Thunderbolt to pick up kills on Pelipper. So definitely expect something like that in the future, potentially. But I generally love Ferroform. I think Ferroform is a fantastic Pokemon. I think uh, in a form with no hand power, this thing is obviously one of the best Pokemon in the format. Up next, I want a bit of another Trick Room setter slash Trick Room on. Also, I wanted access to Toxic Spikes. So I have now gone all forms of Hazards now, which is very, very, very good. Well, that I can limit myself to. But I went with Pharaoh, my Coffer Grigus. It has been a hot, long time since I have used regular Coffer Grigus. I've always been a fan of Runa Regus, but I think Coffer Grigus just does the justice about the same as what Runa Regus do, except you get Stealth Rocks too. But with uh, Coffer Regus, this thing's giving me a, a fantastic Trick Room Sweeper with Nasty Plot Calm Mindsets. It's also a mod that can be actually really, really annoying and defensive with its mummy and Willow with shenanigans. This Pokemon is very amazing. The access to the body press as well is really good to hit bulky normals, which is very good as well. But that is, um, Coffer Grigus is just really, really good. Also, ignore my cat. Now, I want to make a little statement quickly. This is originally Aerodactyl, but I, uh, Real, who was one of the coaches, agreed that he would trade me Aerodactyl as he sniped me on Crobat. And I said, you know what, I did it. So I drafted Aerodactyl. And so officially, for week one, we will have Air our man, not Batman. With our Crobat. I want a Crobat for the fact that, one, I haven't used Crobat in so long. I haven't ever really used Crobat in Draft League. Gives me a great low-tier special offensive monster. Gives me that speed I also really want as well. And also just gives me a mod that can hit and smack. Also gives me a Defogger, which I really love. I went with, I'm pretty chill, the Ronan Frost. Because, for one, I needed a special Wall Breaker as well. Also gives me another defensive mod with Defog and uh, access to from speed. Pepperly Pew, a Poison Dark type that I really needed for Grounded Poison shenanigans. Also a dark type just to stop that. Also it gives me another low tier defogger. And it's an odd no. I just dragged this for Wish. That's it. But that's our team for VBL guys. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm going to run this team for a few weeks and see how it goes. If not, I can make some changes. But 
Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, guys. Peace.